Hey everyone, this is Elias from Rathmatch Media and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor. You basically get a Bronco, you give it the Raptor treatment, and you got the Raptor. Let's get started. Now, before we get started, I just want to mention that this is going to be a video where we're going to discuss some of the, basically the upgrades you'll get when you go with the Raptor trim. I reviewed multiple Broncos. If you want to check those out, I'll go ahead and put them up on the description. I'll put them up there uh, or up there, wherever, so that you guys can watch my full review on Broncos. So with this video, we're just, again, going to go over those differences and we'll go ahead and have some fun at the end. So let's get started on the front. So on the front, the first thing you kind of notice is the bumper. So we're going to start down low. This looks incredible. So it's a different bumper. We also have uh, some protection down there. It, it ding, ding, ding. It didn't plack, plack, plack as far as it being plastic. So it's got some protection down there. And with this being kind of at that point, so it, these guys are going to help out a little bit, but we'll discuss that with the uh, standard Bronco, you get an approach angle of about 35 to 43 degree. Uh, I believe it's, yeah, with the 35 tire, you get the 43. With this, <laughs> you get a 47.2 degree approach angle. That's insane. That's such a massive increase with that. And it's just that much higher, really. And well, I guess we'll talk about ground clearance once we kind of get into the wheel and tire setup. But yeah, as far as the front, that's what you get in the, with the front bumper. We do get the Raptor lights up here, which are really nice because, yeah, <laughs> as you can see, we do get wider fenders. We get massively wider fenders compared to the standard Bronco. And that's because we kind of have to cover these guys up, which again, we'll get into uh, in a bit. But yeah, these things are amazing. We have the blue, uh, which I love. We have the Raptor hood as well. Nice design. We have some graphics, which we'll take a look at a, a little bit more on the side. But as far as the front end, it just looks so much meaner. And again, that approach angle is so much higher. I almost forgot the lighting. We do have these rigid um, fog lights down here. So one set is activated with the fog light switch that the uh, Bronco comes with, you know, just kind of every standard um, Bronco switch, light switch. But then this guy has the auxiliary switches up above, which I love. Those things sound so good, which we'll take a look at. So we have those and that turns on the second set. I forget which one it's, if it's the inside or the outside ones, but yeah, light up the road. And, and again, you have so much more switches in there where you can attach more lighting if you want right on the um, mirrors on there. Just, uh, I've seen some even on, on these hooks here. So just a lot of different accessories that are available for this, but it already comes with some that, yeah, are really nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at the big thing with this Raptor. We get under the hood and we have the 3.0 liter V6 EcoBoost turbocharged engine, and it is cranking out 418 horsepower and 440 pound-feet of torque. It is connected to the 10-speed auto and then to the Ford 4x4 system. Yes, more power is always better. And in this case, it definitely is a lot better. So we do jump, let's, let's take a look at some non-Raptor numbers. So we do jump from the 2.7 liter of the standard Bronco to the 3.0 liter. So 0.3 in displacement higher, we have that. And the power does jump from 315 to 418. So yeah, 100 horsepower more, which is incredible. And the torque doesn't jump as much. We do go from 415 to 440. Um, but overall, though, it is so much fun to have this power plant. And that 10-speed auto, it's a dream. That 10-speed auto is paired so well with this. You can get these gears just one right after the other. And it'll stay in boost. It'll just 
really get the next gear and next gear next gear with no problem if you want to take it easy it you know goes down goes up to the 10th speed and you're cruising it's just incredible now we do get as far as miles per gallon i know <laughs> why are we talking about that well we're talking about it because i was surprised i've been hammering this thing and they say and ford says that you get 15 miles to to the gallon and that's what this has been reading so <laughs> epa estimates they must have been having a lot of fun yes i know their standards i'm just joking around but i was surprised that even with me just again just stoplight just <laughs> roaring this thing and just on unpaved roads just hammering it having fun i'm still getting 15 miles to the gallon how i have no idea i'm i'm hoping that reading is correct but it's just impressive to still get that even with these big tires and and everything but this has been so much fun now we do get the exhaust that has different valving you can do um normal i think it's sport and then baja so <laughs> my favorite is when you hit baja and it says off-road use only yeah let's just say we're not always on the on the <laughs> off-roading side when we hit that Baja mode but it's just really really nice uh, sounding it's not V8 roaring as we do get in kind of the Jeep 392 but I kind of like this powertrain a lot more than the 392 Jeep but overall though this has been impressive yeah this has been so much fun this is the heart of what makes well one of the things because we still have that big massive wheel and tire which let's go ahead and take a look at that next we get down to the wheel and tire package yeah we get down to it so we have the the nice 17 inch beadlock ready wheel and it is wrapped in the bf goodridge all-terrain kl2 37 inch tire configuration these things are massive they are amazing i love ko2s i love km2s as well for mud uh, that we've driven in in other vehicles the ko2s are great as well it's incredible it's such a massive <laughs> configuration it's so easy to drive it is not pulling you anywhere this setup is incredible it's quiet as well. That's the big thing with this. When you have such a big setup, it's gonna want to be really noisy. This tread pattern is really quiet. It absorbs everything. <laughs> Speed bumps are no problem in this. Uh, if you don't want to stop that much, it will it will take them with no problem. It is so nice to have this configuration. And we also have the suspension so for the suspension we have the raptor haas 4.0 system uh, by fox with the internal bypassing semi-active dampers so i think that's kind of what the bronco needed were some active dampers and this thing is incredible now normal so you'll have three configurations you have normal you have sport and baja normal is a good mix of letting you sway a little bit and kind of still tighten you up sport will tighten you up and then uh baja will just really lose it's you feel it when you go to turn you're like is the sway bar connected it, it is but you still you'll feel the the body definitely roll a lot more in in a performance way so it's definitely in the way that you that you want to have that when you're needing the baja mode personally though it was set to sport the whole time because i felt like even in normal, it was still a little too soft for me. So sport was definitely ideal for kind of everyday driving, especially when you're taking those left-hand turns at a little bit more speed kind of thing. Uh, it'll definitely tighten up. You do have the sway bar disconnect with this because this one basically has all the options on it. Uh, as far as basically what those other Broncos, like you kind of get one thing with the other, not with the, no. This thing is loaded with it. The suspension, the increase, of, of height is just incredible especially with the tire configuration the brakes are amazing the perform it's just such a great setup and yeah you get these 
big guys with the big Raptor. So let's go ahead and see what we have on the side. We get to the side and we can see this thing is awesome. I love, it just looks, you, you thought the Bronco was mean already? This looks even meaner. So it really has a presence to it. So let's get started from the top. The, speaking about top, it is the hard top. So the Bronco Raptor only comes in the hard top configuration. Personally, that's the way I would go. The soft tops, yeah, I don't know. I, for me, even Jeeps and just any configuration like this, I like the hard top options better. It definitely dampens the, the road noise a lot more than just your standard soft top. So that's what you get with the Raptor. Now, this one did come optioned out with the Raptor graphics. It's nice. It kind of looks like a checkered flag kind of, uh, gradient checkered flag kind of design. I, I guess I wanted something louder, but I mean, the Raptor is already pretty loud in its own, but yeah, you do get that. And then we get a little bit here on the fender. We do have a little bit of some breathing that is gonna help out for that 3.0 V6 under there. And a little bit lower and we have the flares. So the flares are significantly larger in the Raptor than they are on the standard Bronco. And that's again, because we have to fit these 37 inch under there and these fenders just look so mean, especially this rear one that almost just goes horizontal in, in kind of coming out. It's just really, really nice. So I do love this configuration. Now let's talk some numbers. So we, let me go ahead and compare the 35 inch standard Bronco so that you, you know, the, well, not standard because that's really more the secondary option for larger wheels and tires, but I just want to show you from that to what you would get in the Raptor. So approach angle uh, with the 35 inch tire, you're looking at 43.2 degree of approach angle with the Raptor 47.2. So massive increase there when we're doing breakover angle, meaning that, you know, once you kind of get over the, the hill, that point where the hill is going to touch the middle part, you're dealing with a 26.3 degree and on the, on the standard one and on the Raptor 30.8 massive, massive increase with that. And then the departure angle, we're dealing with 37 degree on the standard Bronco and 40.5 degree on the Raptor. Yeah big big things big differences let's talk ground clearance on the bronco with 35 the standard one we're dealing with 11.5 on the raptor 13.1 so yeah you do get the additional height on on this than you do on the standard bronco so that's a nice uh option to have especially again when you're going to the extremes of some pretty crazy terrain so with water fording we do have 33.5 inches of water fording with the bronco we have 37 so we've gained 3.5 inches which is a lot <laughs> especially when again you want to take this out for a swim you got a couple more inches of water that you can put this guy through so overall though this is incredible i love the way this looks it's just it's really the best Bronco that you can get. Now let's go ahead and head to the back and see what we have back there. We get to the back and we can see just how wide these fenders are. It's so much wider than the standard Bronco. Now, a couple of things with this. Again, when we're dealing with the back, we have the hard top, which again, I love my favorite. We have the massive 37 inch, uh, spare wheel back here spare wheel and tire uh, we do have the backup camera on here to help out with getting this big guy parked because it's def you're definitely going to need it especially with those wide fenders and again this has a taller tire so we do have a carrier for that taller tire and one of the things i did notice i'm like wow those tail lights look really really nice i don't remember those 
being like that on the other rap on the other Broncos and that's because these are different on the Raptor so you are going to have these LED lights let me see if I can go ahead and activate them so you guys can see it's just a different design and I love the design that it has over the standard ones or even the LED uh, ones on the on the standard Bronco which I thought were really nice but having these kind of like segmented love it so a couple of things as well we have the Raptor badging kind of back here we do have again the 37 inch uh, wheel and tire spare tire and we have the towing down here now the towing actually increases with this which is kind of weird because typically when you're dealing with bigger wheels and that kind of set up your load usually goes down uh because you're now having you just have bigger uh things to kind of move around but with this so the standard bronco with again the trailer uh the class 2 trailer tow package that ford offers when you're dealing on on it with the standard uh bronco we're dealing with 3500 pounds of towing capacity on the Bronco, it gets bumped up to 4,500 pounds. So I can probably tow my Miata if I have a light trailer. Um, if I have kind of more of a standard trailer, we might be pushing it. Um, but yeah, that's nice to have the additional uh, towing capacity, especially if you're really going to take this out. And let's say you're going to have this as an out, out landing gear and you want to tow a bigger trailer you have that option with this but overall though this rear is just so much better one thing that i did notice though is that now i complained about this in my other bronco videos and it's this door this door opens up and it just kind of stops and you're having to really push it like to the extreme that i thought i was going to break it not with this i guess the added weight of the 37 inch tire is what it needed for this shock to just be usable bearable now i know you guys are saying well it's better that it's harder to take off because or to open because if you're at a at an incline it's gonna go ahead and just kind of swing open so it's been in my driveway i have a five degree incline on my driveway and i know this because it has the telemetry inside. So it does show as a five degree incline and I opened this up and it does not swing violently. So it does have a stopping point there and then another stopping point. So it's giving me a little bit of pressure and obviously when it maxes out. So it still has that safety, which is what I would have liked in those other ones. But it was just literally you open up and you're having to pull the whole way through. So I do love that we have this i don't know if it's just worn or broken in there is a little bit more miles on this one than we have on other press cars so actually youtube let me know if you guys have a bronco that you know you've had some years with it let me know if this back door softens up a little bit with that shock um, to give you better performance performance that i think is the, the really the way to go or if it's still stiff either way though I love the way it opens up in the Bronco Raptor. So we'll go ahead and close this off. Get my key fob. And we do have remote start. So lock it. And we get it roaring. It's not the loudest, but it'll do. I wish it had dual exhaust on this. So if you like it a little bit louder, definitely change your exhaust on this and uh yeah let's hop in and go for some fun rides now we open up the door to the bronco raptor and we start to see some elements of the raptor trim so we get this awesome little orange trim on the little basket or the netting for uh the door which actually was very useful for bigger uh bottles of water that we want to yeah put in there you can see it really really stretches out uh, and then just snaps back to where it should go and oh one thing i forgot to mention is the raptor step so we do get these steps they are pretty good they're pretty good obviously to get you in 
and obviously keep the truck protected as well. So we actually go in and yes, we start to see more Raptor things. <laughs> and that is the seat. Now these guys are really comfortable. Uh, they do have kind of this Alcantara finish to them. Uh, we have the Raptor badging, the orange stitching, which is always nice. And oh yeah, we get these. They're so nice. I know it's such a small detail, but my favorite thing is having seat belts that are not just black so or brown or you know tan that kind of situation just something loud so that's what this does so you get that and then again we get this kind of perforated uh center piece here in the seat it is still that kind of alcantara uh finish to it and we do get the orange kind of peeking through those holes uh it doesn't have venting but it does have heated elements in it um but yeah overall the seat is really nice again you can see the orange just kind of transferring over uh, and yeah, power seat and super comfortable, no issues there. Now let's go ahead and hop in and uh, let's talk about this guys. I almost forgot when you jump in, you get your handle to get in and this one comes with carbon fiber. So we have a nice little carbon fiber finish to it. And again, the orange uh, kind of trim right there. Same thing follows on the dash where we get the stitching right up there we have the b and o uh, sound system which was really really loud it was so clear too loved it one of my favorites one of my favorite things as well with it this is this isn't a bronco raptor exclusive but i do love the fact that we have the mount for accessories which i probably tightened it a little too much for hand um but you can actually put the uh gopro your gopro here or what we did the uh, Insta360 camera, you do need, well, this one didn't have the adapter, so I just got a little adapter uh, so that you can just go ahead and screw it on and you can record with the Insta360 outside and inside as you guys will see. Now, uh, kind of moving from the very top, this isn't a Raptor exclusive as far as, you know, other vehicles having it, but I love these switches. So these switches are for auxiliary, things and for powering up and these are one of these i don't know which one it is does power up the uh one of the front sets of fog because we do have two sets of fog lights in the front my favorite thing is just the feel and the sound let's let's see if we can hear that now we take a look at the steering wheel and this thing is really nice so we do get the raptor kind of orange line right there it is leather it is really nice feel to it we have the orange stitching there which i love and we have more carbon on it so we do have a nice little carbon design and of course we have nice little raptor badge on there which i really really love we do get some special buttons that we don't get in the other broncos which we'll go ahead and take a look let me go ahead and turn on the bronco Okay, so there is a lot to this dashboard and a lot has to do with the buttons we saw on the steering wheel itself. So let's first take a look at the um, at these buttons here. So we have basically your steering feel. We have your Raptor button, which is a combination of modifying your steering wheel, your suspension and your exhaust, which we have here, suspension and exhaust. So let's start off with the steering wheel so when we press it we're gonna see we have normal we have comfort and we have sport i like the sport feel to it i don't like having a really loose uh steering wheel uh comfort to me is not comfortable <laughs> you know if i'm on the highway and it's com in comfort the steering wheel is going to be really loose i'm going to be having to micro adjust a lot of time so my setting was mainly on sport which is good it's it's not super heavy like i've had other cars so definitely my recommendation and then we have the suspension so when i press the suspension the damper is going to be normal sport and then off-road like i mentioned we definitely have kept it majority of the time on sport when we were in, in unpaved roads or a bumpy road we were either in off-road or normal but yeah majority of the time it was set to sport and then let's see if we can hear a difference we're going to change the exhaust that's normal, sport, 
of my favorite seeing that yeah you just yeah just take it for what it is and then quiet so it does have the baffles in there and it's able to change the sound to it personally like i said i've just been obnoxiously loud with the baja mode that's kind of what i like so let me actually set things to normal so you guys can see the setting for raptor so my r setting so i press it once and then my mode setting press it again to go to raptor mode and you can see down here it switched everything to my favorites which are sport steering sport suspension and baja exhaust now <laughs> let's take a look at the raptor information there is a lot to this so we go to raptor status that's kind of what we were looking at where it was showing us all the different modes uh, which they will change as you change your drive modes because yeah we'll kind of just sneak into this we have slippery we have tow haul we have sport we have normal off-road baja and rock crawl so we do have all those different modes so let's uh switch it back to normal and basically that's those settings and again you have the raptor status i can press the my mode and keep it back to where i had it then we have the off-road status so you can see kind of the the uh the degrees of of pitch roll that kind of stuff so you can see right now we're in my driveway we are we're back into it which is why it's telling us we have a six degree uh, decline there and my gauges so this is a lot so this is just kind of another area where you can see just kind of digital gauges like this where it's just kind of like little meters um, and you can change those so if you press and you have the option to you know if you want the air charge temperature instead obviously it, it grays out or yeah grays out when you select two because you only can select two but yeah just an idea of all the things that you guys can have being basically measured which is nice so i just had air fuel uh ratio which is pretty cool they have a nice little uh kind of like arrow showing air and then a little beaker showing fuel and then we also have the uh, boost gauge uh, at the top so that's what i've had then we have the measurements so this is going to give you a ton of different um uh, measurements for basically everything so everything we had in that little my gauges set shows it to you there and we press more uh, we press okay for more and it shows you the other values but it shows them to you in numerical values not in in different things so there's just a lot to this yeah we're a little low on that rear right rear we've been a little low on that right rear uh, for a bit so pitch and roll again we just have some of these options there and that's again just in the raptor information and then obviously we have just kind of your standard uh you know ford views and then obviously my view you can switch it to to choose what you want it to uh, be yeah performance view you can see all those different things uh, that you can set to be in your usual view and yeah that pretty much does it for the gauge cluster now let's go ahead and come over to this and with this being the raptor it is everything show me everything give me everything so with the first uh, usually i've had the other rap the other broncos and it's like you have one or two and then the third one's missing but then you get the other one and so on so this one fills all of them first one is just a sway bar disconnect so you press it there and yeah it's telling me i can't because i am not in four low but the sway bar disconnect is a huge thing uh especially when you're rock crawling and you really need as much articulation as possible yeah you just go ahead and push that button and you're good to go front locker I love this. I love this because we can independently lock the front locker from the rear locker. <laughs> so that's the rear locker. We don't have to commit to having the rear locked when we don't want it to. And we can just independently lock those differentials. This, this is my favorite. We'll go ahead and test this out. I'll show you guys how that is. But this is the, uh, when we press it, it's going to the trail turn assist literally turning on a dime what it does is if let me see yeah uh, i can't do it here in the driveway but basically uh let's say if you are uh have an obstacle in front of you and you're needing to turn really sharply to the left or to the right so what that does is let's say we're turning left and 
basically what you would do is you would press that turn the steering wheel completely to the left and when you accelerate it will hold the left rear brake on so it basically locks that and it makes the other wheels turn and that is going to make the bronco really rotate in tight spots so love this thing it's so incredible again we have your fun button that's always the fun one to take off especially with that 3.0 liter in here and then we have your hazards so that's really what you get there then we come a little bit lower and we have your raptor shifter and it is in the uh, carbon fiber trim so we do have that nice little trim going again with the orange uh, stitching on there and that follows with the goat modes here which again are just a plethora let's go ahead and and just kind of go over those or and just take a look at what options we have uh, with the starting with the slippery obviously we have different conditions it's trying to switch to four by four and the uh tow haul obviously the with this having the additional thousand pounds you might you know take advantage of that instead of taking your f-150 to tow a bigger rig kind of thing and then we have the uh obviously the sport mode which is really nice yeah the i don't know if you guys heard it but it was it definitely goes okay we're gonna have some fun right now and speaking about fun well we keep it a little bit tamer with normal off-road is really nice to play with baja mode this is my favorite so baja mode has pretty much been on and that's kind of why i love this bronco so for my kind of what I like, I like speed and off-roading, and I like off-roading, and off-roading speed is definitely where I want to, you know, what I want to do uh, with my Bronco if I were to get one. But yeah, one of my favorite things is, yeah, you can see all the different modes. We have all the things that are configured to Baja, and we have this. So we have, we get the front camera that turns on really cool kind of shows you where your tires are going to go and we have obviously the 360 degree view that this has <laughs> if you take a look there i kind of uh i caught i caught one wheel on the grass and one wheel on here when i was trying to park because i didn't want to hit our other car and let me tell you that it had yeah it locked up the rear really nicely to distribute the power uh, and I got into the driveway. Yes, I know, silly thing, but I didn't see that I dropped the wheel there. But yeah, it's really nice to have this camera when you're uh, going in Baja mode and it doesn't turn off. And yeah, I mean, it's super easy as well. If you just kind of, when you go to park, you can just activate it with no issues, just pressing it there and it is set. But overall though, yeah, this guy is so much fun to play around with all the different modes you have in here. The week we had the Raptor, my wife couldn't stop driving it. She loved to take this out on the road. And you could see just from this clip, yeah, she's my model. And it was just such a smooth ride on paved roads. So for everyday city driving, it was a blast. But when you decided to take it on some unpaved roads, let's just say you could have a little fun. I was showing my wife how to use a trail turn assist. So you just push the button, make sure it's in four high or four low and move forward. Yeah, I kept telling her, you have to move forward a lot more because it's going to turn very sharply. So you turn the wheel all the way and you'll see on the dash, it gives you a indication and then you just hit the gas and yeah, it just turns literally on a dime to the point where she could not believe it. She had a big smile on her face as how sharply the Bronco could turn. And the whole family had a blast with the Raptor. Remember, find the right gear, 
See ya.